In this video, I'm going to be paying different game developers on Fiverr to remake Minecraft. I reached out to different game developers on Fiverr and simply asked them to make Minecraft. Let's see what I get. Fiverr is a website where you can pay people for different freelance services and it is particularly useful as a game developer because you can pay people to do certain jobs for you. You can pay people to make graphics for your game, you can pay people to make music for your game and you can even pay people to just make you an entire game. So I wanted to see what would happen if I messaged different game developers on Fiverr and asked them to simply make Minecraft. After reaching out to a bunch of different game developers asking them to make Minecraft, I managed to find three different game developers that were willing to do it. The first developer was named Agreo Do Pau. I worked with Agreo Do Pau in my last Fiverr video, where I paid game developers on Fiverr to help finish my game. The second developer was named Gil Hermione, and the third and final developer was named NextGen41. If you'd like to check out Fiverr or any of these sellers to get your own game made or any other work done, I've left links in the description to Fiverr and these Fiverr seller profiles. Thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring this video, and now let's see the final games. After a couple of weeks, I had all the final games and I was ready to test them out. But before I play them, I just wanted to quickly mention if you'd like to play any of these games for yourself or download the source codes for these games, I've uploaded all of the games and their source codes to my Patreon. You can check out my Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash bad game dev or with the link in the description. Other than that, let's check out the first game totally not Minecraft. And here we are in our first game. So as you can see, the game has taken a bit of a, a side-scrolling 2D approach. If I hold control and scroll up and down, I can uh, I can zoom in and out on blocks and I can actually get pretty close. So that is really cool. It al already feels really smooth. So let's have a look at some of the features of the game. So first and foremost, the most obvious one is I can break blocks by clicking. I can go ahead and clear out this dirt here. I can even uh, get rid of this tree if I want. Now that we've got a flat surface, I can also go ahead, scroll through my blocks and... Uh, place blocks. So what blocks do we have to use? To start we have the grass block which is uh, pretty simple. We've also got uh, water which um, might be interesting. Let's place it, see what happens. Okay, that's pretty freaking cool. We've got dirt, uh, very nice. We've got a sapling, so if we plant the sapling there it should plant a tree. Awesome. We've got fire which I assume we use on uh, TNT. Where's the TNT? There it is. So if we place a couple of TNT, let's uh, Let's see what happens. Let's just do this and then uh, get our fire, which is right here. Let's uh, set it all alight and see what happens. I'm, I'm looking, whoa. Okay, sick. All right, let's do that again. Let's uh, play some TNT, set it alight, see what happens. Boom, awesome. And then we can obviously build with wood. We can build with leaves. We can build with stone and we can build with sand, which uh, has a falling effect, awesome. So overall, pretty straightforward building system. It's essentially got a good range of everything you you would want to use really and I'm pretty sure that's all the game is it's basically a building sandbox so that is really awesome and the reason I like this is because the developer took a concept like remake Minecraft and and made it a game of his own and it's it's a really cool game now the other impressive thing with this game is it actually has a world generation system so if I go ahead and close out of this game reopen it it should give me a different world and it has it looks like the world's generated differently. That is that is freaking awesome. Let's do it again, just to just to see what we get next. Very nice, very nice. So as you can see, every time you load up the game, you get a different random generation. So the developer actually explained how this world generation system works. So let me try to try to summarize what he said. Essentially, if the custom terrain option isn't selected, it creates a curve with four points on it and chooses a value between negative. 0.8 and 0.8 to set a point. Game Maker then smooths the curve and sets it to a variable. The game then creates grass blocks on top of the curve in game and at the same time creates saplings that generate a tree instantly after starting the game. After creating the grass blocks, the game will then start creating the bottom layers, starting with dirt and then moving to stone blocks. After filling the screen to the bottom, the game will store the highest point and the lowest point on the map get the average value between the two and define it as the sea level. The game then checks any empty spaces below sea level and fills them with water blocks. Finally, after creating the water blocks, it detects grass and dirt blocks around the water blocks and turns them into sand. The best thing about this game is just how advanced the world generation system actually is. It's a fun sandbox game to play with and build with and there's a lot that could definitely be added to it, but um, the world generation system itself is incredible. Totally Not Minecraft was an interesting take on a Minecraft 
Minecraft remake. It was a 2D sandbox style game, which implemented world generation and building into a fun little gaming experience. The best thing about this game was how simple yet effective the idea was. It was indeed a Minecraft remake, just looking at Minecraft from a different perspective and turning it into a different style of game. The most interesting thing about this game was how advanced the world generation system was. I didn't even really understand how the system worked, and I'm one of the best game developers on YouTube. Okay, well, maybe I'm not the best game developer on YouTube, but I mean, have you played Captain Explosion? I'm pretty much up there. Anyway, back to the game. This game did a really good job at taking a request like Remake Minecraft and turning it into something unique. Great job. Now, the next game, Minecraft 2D. All right, here we are with the second game. So let's uh, click the play button and get into it. All right, so we've spawned into a, uh, a top-down 2D environment here. And uh, I can see that I've got a, a health bar, a hunger bar. There's some, some stone over here and some trees. So let's go ahead and try to chop down some trees. So we can sort of swing and break them. Let's just collect as much as possible and then we'll go get some stone and see what we can do. Now, the one thing I've noticed straight away is I'm losing hunger um, just naturally. So I think I need to try to find some food. If I'm not mistaken, apples should drop from these trees, but we'll see what we get. Yep, we got one. So if we click on it and I eat it, boom, hunger replenished. I must say, I really like the pixel art style. I think it it, it works. Once again, another game that has taken the idea of remaking Minecraft and, and made it as their own, which is really cool to see. All right, let's get our wood. Let's build a house before it gets dark because I can see that the uh, it, it's it's slowly approaching night. So if we stand right in front of it and place, there we go, we can place a block like that. This isn't going to be that impressive of a house, but... Um, you know, it'll work, it'll work. So it seems like there's not a lot to this game and it's it's mainly just a prototype of what a 2D top-down Minecraft could be. But I really like it. I really like the way the game feels and I really like the pixel art style. And I think it works. It is essentially at its core a, a Minecraft remake just as a top-down survival game. Minecraft 2D was another interesting take on a Minecraft remake. It was a 2D top-down survival game where you could chop down trees, mine stone, build, eat, and there was even a day and night cycle. Overall, this game was great for a prototype of what a top-down Minecraft could look like and had great potential for a future project. Good stuff. Now, the final game, Minecraft Clone. And here's our third and final game, Minecraft. It's not actually Minecraft, it's a, it's a Minecraft remake, but Minecraft, let's uh, check it out. So if we click play, awesome, loading world, building terrain, that's what I like to see. Whoa, okay, this is, this is definitely Minecraft. All right, controls, H to hide UI, so I can press H if I wanna hide that. Uh, WASD slash arrow keys to move, space to jump. Nice, Q to throw TNT, that is interesting. Let's, let's press it. Okay, that is sick. Left click to break blocks, very nice. And then right click to place blocks. Very nice. R to spawn on surface and escape to use free mouse. And then on the other side there, blocks exploded, blocks traveled, blocks place, and blocks broken. All right, let's hide the UI and let's um, start playing Minecraft. So the first thing I'd like to say about this game is, whoa, the 3D environment and what I assume is random terrain generation is absolutely incredible. It seems pretty accurate to the original version of Minecraft where all you could really do is walk around, break blocks and build, but that terrain generation was in place. This is basically what that is. Just a little bit more advanced. So if I go through my um, blocks here, I've got my wooden planks, nice. Got my uh, cobblestone, equally as nice. I've got sand, which I assume drops like sand. Cool. Bedrock, which is uh, always a staple of Minecraft. We've got this block here, which will essentially place whatever block I've placed this block on. So for example, if we place it on the wood, it'll place down wood. All right, we've also got TNT, which I assume works like the throwing TNT, which is really cool. You can just pick up TNT and throw it, so we can just mine that way. Oh man, there's even ores in the terrain generation. This is awesome. All right, I've also got bone meal here, which I assume if we go up to the grass, we can plant and uh, plant some flowers and some grass. Very nice. Number eight, we've got enderpearls, which we can throw and teleport, awesome. And the last item is an enderman head, which I assume if we right click anywhere, will teleport to that position. Overall, this um, game is really well made. Let's see how far we can go until we get bedrock. Um, throw a few more TNTs. We found diamond, which is awesome. And we've finally got to bedrock. And whoa, that's that's actually a while up. Wow, there's even ravines. I was just um, running around the map and I found some type of ravine, which is 
pretty cool to see as well. All right, let's try build a house. Why not? And there we go. We've uh, built some type of house. Cool. Minecraft clone was a Minecraft clone, literally. This game essentially summarizes what a Minecraft clone is. You could move around a 3D environment, break blocks and build. There were also some different items you could use, which was cool. This game did an impressive job with the terrain generation. Do I know how it works? I mean, I am the guy that made Captain Explosion, so of course not. Overall, this was a very impressive remake of Minecraft. Great work. And there we have it. Three different Minecraft remakes from Fiverr. All very different and unique in their own ways, but still, all of them are very interesting recreations of Minecraft. Once again, if you'd like to play any of these games or check out the source codes for these games, they've all been uploaded to my Patreon. Link in the description or at patreon.com forward slash badgamedev. Of course, a huge thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring this video once again. If you'd like to check out Fiverr and get any work done, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be game development. Fiverr offers hundreds of different services that you can purchase but if you do want some game development done i've left links to all three developers in the description if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment if you want and you can also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the channel and yeah thank you guys for watching peace